Hey YouTube, Colorful Coats here. I'm coming to you with an update, um, an overdue update. It's probably been three months. Um, I think uh, I had a video called Google Prep and then I was supposed to make a video after that. But, you know, life happens. Uh, I got tired of the Google Prep. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a general update video on what's happened because it's literally been like a good three four months since I've updated you guys okay so hmm, what has happened what has happened um you know I got rejected from a bunch of places as usual you know it's it's been a, about a year a year now since I put my first job application out um as far as algorithms go Oh, I've been dragging them out. It's It's been extremely difficult solving algorithms. Before, I could solve like three algorithms a day, bop, bop, bop. But now it's like, it, it takes me like a good three days to solve one algorithm. I'm just like, nah. So, yeah, I'm, so yeah basically I'm taking a break from, from algorithm stuff. And, you know, I was working on my... Um, Oh, yeah, so you know I was doing the Udacity Nano degree. I, I got tired of that too, but I definitely, I'm definitely going to go back to that. Um, I just got tired of studying. Um, I did get a mentor. Uh, I applied to a job through RC, and then they rejected me, but uh, s someone decided to, um, well, not someone, their director of engineering, uh, he was, he decided that I needed a mentor, and which was pretty amazing. So he connected me to this other um, woman, and she's been really cool. Uh, yeah, I like I like having her as a mentor. Um, her advice was kind of just was pretty much what I was already doing. It was um, well, she gave me general life advice, you know, uh, as a woman of color in tech, but you know, she was also giving me technical advice about learning JavaScript and what else? Oh, crack, cracking the coding interview. So that stuff I was already doing. But yeah, it, it's been good. Um, what else? I felt like I was going to come here and be more relaxed, but I rush when I'm in front of a camera because my mind goes blank. Um, let me see my... Uh... Yeah. So... I got several referrals um, for jobs, but you know, knowing my luck, I, got, I also got instant rejections as well. I shouldn't say my luck because a lot of people, you know, we all experience rejection, but I did not think that it was going to take this long. I remember being in my Recurse Center batch and I remember asking how long it takes for a junior engineer to find a, a job. And when they told me three three or more months, like, I thought it was crazy. I'm like, y'all yeah, need to wait a whole three months to get a job. Like, that sounded ludicrous. Um, but no, like, here I am, like, one year later. And at this rate, like, it's going to take a good five years to get my first job. <laughs> I also tried to go through um, the RC jobs people, but it seems like most of their... Like, their advice to me was to, uh, well, they told me they couldn't um, introduce me to other companies because their companies want people with two, with, they didn't say two years of experience, they said uh, reasonable experience. But my other friend told me, who he has one year of experience, he said that they were looking for people with two years of experience. So that was like my backup, backup plan. <laughs> um, yeah, it didn't really work out. Uh... But yeah, like, I feel like at the job fair, I met so many companies that were like, yeah, you know, we're hiring juniors, like, you know, all these, like, bigger name companies, and then, you know, I mean, it makes sense, because I think they have to pay, like, 25% of first year, like, that, that's the recruiter fee, it's like 25% of a first year salary. Um, but yeah, I don't know, maybe I should give some advice for other junior engineers, because uh, I got into this thing, I got into this this whole process really naive. Um, I wanted to be a computer hacker. I googled how to be a computer hacker. Uh, told me to learn Python. I learned Python. And then along the way, I found uh, videos. Not videos. I found <sighs> medium posts and all those posts about the shortage of people and technology. How there's so many jobs, so many high-paying jobs and no one to fill them. 
how the year 2020, this many jobs are just not gonna, you know, like, are gonna be unfilled, you know, like, high salary and all that stuff. And then, you know, along the way, like, I, in my whole batch, like, I honestly thought, like, dang, like, the second I graduate, like, people are gonna wanna grab me up, you know, the most amazing thing, like, <laughs> honestly, like, I've learned so much this last year, you know, I, I thought in the beginning, you know, just knowing how to write a for loop was enough because I, I would read old posts about how they want people who know how to learn, um, and I, I can code, I can, I can, I can code, like, <laughs> but, you know, they, they want React, they want Angular, they want Python, they want MySQL, they want AWS, they want 10 other technologies, they want a CS degree, prefer preferably, they want me to go to a boot camp to get teamwork experience. Anyways, um, yeah, like, self, the self-taught road, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> so recently I've been thinking about, um, other paths into tech. Honestly, there are a few times I just wanted to give up, like, I'm past that point. If you saw my old videos, you can see I'm crying in some of them. I'm kind of, I still cry, but, you know when you just reach that point where it's just like, how can you, you know, like, you, you feel like you can't give any more emotion to it. Like, you can't cry. You don't want to waste any more tears. I don't want to be, I don't want to be where I was last year where it was just, like, always crying, you know? So, I just, like, 2018 is, like, a new me. Um, I've been, I've been applying to a bunch of, like, QA positions. I've been thinking about taking a Udemy QA course. Um... <clears throat> I just think that I'm drained from studying, like, I can't even lift a pinky, I, I, <laughs> I don't know, like, I, I know I'm supposed to be studying, but I've been studying for the last two and a half years, uh, this, this technology stuff, and it's, it's, it's very hard, don't make people think that a Code Academy course is gonna get you a job, unless you live in a very good neighborhood where there's a lot of jobs, you know, um, dang, I lost my train of thought, <sighs> Oh, okay, so, you know, QA jobs. I've been thinking about learning Excel, another Udemy course, so that I can get, like, an admin job and then, like, study on the side so that I can, like, make not $12 an hour, but $15 an hour. That's, like, a, a big jump from where I am at the moment. <laughs> then I've also been thinking about, you know, like, for, for the longest while, I've been thinking about getting my A-plus um, certification because I know it's another gateway into the tech field. Like, I want to be... In info set. So I was thinking of starting in the software world, but at this rate, I'm just like, you know what? I could also get my A plus certification, get a help desk job, then a systems admin, then is it network or something like that, or security or whatever? I can move to security. Like that's gonna take a while, but I don't know. I've, that's another. I've, I've been thinking of so many paths. Um, also, check my blog post because when I get in front of a camera, I forget like 90% of my life. <laughs> Um, yeah, and also, oh yeah, also I, I was thinking, you know, I, I want to do some future videos, um, about a PRAMP, the, the mock interview uh, website, and also interviewing.io, which is also very good. If you do really good at algorithms, you can get an interview. I still don't think, I, I, I know that I'm not good at algorithms. It's very hard. It's a lot. Like, I'm weak at graphs. I'm weak at dynamic programming and recursion. I'm weak at backtracking and even, like, tree questions. And, yeah, I need a ton more um, in, uh, mock interview experience. And I, I want to use, like, Leak Code Explorer. Like, they have core, um, apparently, you know, core practice problems. I want to do the easy and the medium. I feel like if I complete the medium... I could probably apply to Google and get a Google job, but <laughs> yeah, that would be a cool first job. Um, yeah, and then also, I just, this is the main reason why I came in to tell you guys, is that I am taking a break for two whole months. I need to, I can't even like solve any more algorithms, I'm just exhausted. Like, I, I just don't want to think about like technology stuff anymore, like, I just want to get that out of my head, because it's... It, this whole process is just so, it's tiring. So I wanted to take a two months and just like focus on my other hobbies, um, like grow in those areas and then come back to tech, you know, and like study, 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 study. <laughs> um, 
yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I feel I feel a little bit bad like leaving because I I just checked like I didn't know I had subscribers, but I, I have a a good amount of subscribers. I had no idea I had subscribers. Um, yeah. So I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna. You're, I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna make the Udacity Nano Degree so far part two. If I feel like having the energy to finish the Android Nano Degree, then I will. But like that's pretty unlikely. And then the leak code, and then Pramp, and then interviewing Dio. So all I can do is hope that you guys wish me lots of luck, and I wish you lots of luck because. Getting a job, getting your first job in technology is hard. Everyone wants experience. Everyone is just like, oh, I want someone who's passionate, who can learn. You know, like, no one wants to train us, you know. Yeah, there's like, there's so many of us out here. But thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a few months. Bye.